Okay, so today we're going to take a look at a really great site called Today's Meet, and todaysmeet.com lets you set up a really, really neat back channel room, and I'll explain what it is as I go. You can use this with students and teachers. The first step of setting it up is coming over here and naming your room. So I'm going to call this Edutecker, and let's see if that room is available. It is. You get a little check mark when you know it's available, and an X, of course, if it's not. So the URL for the site would be http colon slash slash todaysmeet.com slash edutecker. All right, the nice thing about this feature is that it doesn't stay forever. You're not creating a wiki or a document that's going to live on the internet forever. You're going to create one that has an expiration. So I can choose to have this delete itself one week later, one day, one year, and all the way up to two hours. A lot of times teachers use this in the classroom with a two-hour expiration because in case students want to go back on and are mischievous and putting in things that they might not um, be supposed to be adding. Uh, I know it's all about control. You want to make sure that everyone's safe. So if they set it up for two hour expiration, if you're using this in your class at 11, that means before the student gets home, by one o'clock in the afternoon, the entire site will be taken down. No one could add anything to it. However, I'll go over some features later that let you actually keep the conversations. The nice thing also is that if you're at a conference, let's say, for instance, the big education conference of the year is ISTE or FETC, you can go over to these conferences and type in a Twitter hashtag. So for instance, I'm going to type in the one from ISTE, which was ISTE 10, and it's going to pull in, if people are tweeting about ISTE currently, it's going to pull in all the most recent posts from Twitter into this uh, conversation as well. Very, very cool. I'm going to go over here to create a room, and that's it. Very simply over here, you log in. So my name over here, I'm going to log in as myself, and I can type in a message. Um, so uh, what do you think about this new tool? And I'm going to go to say, notice you have 140 characters just like Twitter. Now, if people are talking about things from ISTE, if someone was tweeting, it would show up here on a chronological uh, plane as well. So it's very much like Twitter in that way. I could also, of course, give that link to my students, and they give you actually a tiny URL or a Todayio link over here. This link will take you right to, and I'll show you right now, an empty uh, a login over here. So if I log in as a second person, I'll log in as a student now, and I'm going to say, this rocks, and go to say. Now the conversation continues. So you're going to see that the most recent one is going to be on top, and it's going to kind of form this chronological uh, the Twitter stream. The nice thing about this is that students that don't want to always speak up in class, they always have a voice when they come in here and they can type whatever they'd like. It's a really great way to have constant communication. It can go on. Of course, if you have um, students and that there are ground rules in your class, you could have this going on all the time. Your four walls of the classroom and your 44-minute periods or hour-long period is uh, much extended and you can actually have students learning around the clock. There's two other really cool features of it. One is called projector. If I hit projector over here, you're going to see the entire screen is going to be taken up with the uh, the stream of thoughts. So I be this is great as it says to put on a projector if you're talking about things in class or at a conference just to project the things that people are saying about whatever uh, your topic is. If I go to full view and I go over here to transcript, it again allows you to see that shortened view that you could now print out or do a screen cap of, so you do have a record of the conversation. It's a really simple site to use, and it's really useful in the classroom. Check it out at todaysmeet.com.